Hey, welcome back to Thought Sauna. That was in it. I'm not editing that one out. Oh, this no, is a I don't podcast. Like this is a podcast where we do talk about weird laws, odd dreams, interesting thoughts, and pony music. So oh, I'm so you. glad I'm Brett Discord Hanrahan. <laughs> I'm Samuel, paladin of the Oath of Redemption, Risley. What? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. He's so powerful. I was, I was going through my uh, D&D stuff because I'm writing shit for a campaign. Nice, so nice. Was, Love that it. That was stuck in my head. All right. And I'm Thyan Haskins. Thick Thyan Haskins. The gang's all here. And we're all here and we're all ready with our thoughts, our dreams, and our laws. But before all that, how about we talk about the new Balloon Party album? How about that, huh? What? It's, it's coming out 2018. Isn't Balloon Party like a pony? The joke that went over everyone's head. Yeah. And then that's when we got straight into the actual stuff. Who wants to go first? <laughs> Okay, it has been a while since I went first, because on the last one, I was like, I'll go first, but then we realized the Pringles should have been kept for last. For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we'll go for it. Okay, so I've got law this time, because that's probably one of my favorite things. And I have, I have two that I'm torn between. Which mm. would you prefer, a vehicle regulation or a hunting law? I I like vehicle regulation. Yeah, I want to I want to know what what's I like the sound of that. Okay. So, in California, it is illegal for a vehicle without a driver to exceed 60 miles per hour. <laughs> um <laughs> that that took me uh 1 second. That took me a second to process without a driver. What uh I with is that is what? it talking about like a, a a specter about like a phantom a ghost or At does it mean like was... if if you're driving 60 miles an hour and then you just like open the door and hop the fuck out is that car now breaking the law yes yes cuff it em. is cuff so, him boys cuff the car we got him cuff the car boot it this this carl this carl never see the light of day again outside of a cell yeah, the window in the cell that the light comes through. Could you, could you repeat the question? Is there like an extended, like detailing? Yeah, is there like the full version of the law, like the full text? There is none. Great. All right, give it, give it to me again one more time. No vehicle without a driver may exceed sixty miles per hour. Well, that Wait. just seems like a fact. Like if you, if there's nothing, if there's no one driving it, how can it? You know. No, it's like May is and it's illegal for that. But here, I have I guess my fault my second law actually kind of ties up into this. Oh, a double law episode, double jeopardy. Wow. A special so, episode. Give wow. us the bonus round. No no vehicle without a driver may exceed 60 miles per hour. But also in California, it is a misdemeanor to shoot any kind of game from a moving vehicle unless the target is a whale. <laughs> So, a whale? <laughs> yeah. What I'm thinking is, guy's driving along the beach, and he gets his car up to 60 miles per hour, and he hops into the passenger sheet, passenger sheet seat, and pulls out his gun, and then and just start and like straight nerves it, guns that that whale down. Yeah. yeah. As as you were saying the second law, I was still imagining the dude in like a dune buggy in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah me too like the whale hey, thing threw hey. me off because i was imagine like camo and shit <laughs> walking around in the mud hey no <laughs> it's it's it is legal to shoot a whale from a moving vehicle it is not legal to shoot any other kind of animal which if you think about it it really should be illegal to shoot a whale i mean <laughs> yeah it's, it's like whaling i guess it's, that it's not like whaling it is whaling it, and a vehicle can just be a boat right like, yeah we're just going straight moby dick on on, on mm -hmm. this one you know but i yeah but what about what about a boat going over 60 with no driver oh a boat is a vehicle it's a phantom yes boat. it's a pirate ship it's the phantom Wait. ship 
Yeah, the ghost, the ghost ship from Phantom Hourglass. And Legend other Zelda, Zelda game. games. And from oh, yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. The Black Lagoon. Motherfucker, that was the Black Pearl. The Black Pearl. That's it. The ghost ship from Wind Waker. I don't know if you guys are picking up on this, but now my upstairs neighbors are, like, dragging and dropping bowling poles on the fucking floor. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Again, I don't think anyone yeah. would have noticed until you brought it up. I don't I'm know, because it's did. like... <sighs> yeah, we didn't hear that <sighs> shit, but... Well, no. you know the best way to get paint to set is to drop bowling balls on the floor right no, no, by no. the wall. No, no, no. This is my upstairs neighbors. This isn't the workers now. It's the upstairs neighbors. Well, they're just doing their part, all right? They want to help. They, they want to help with the podcast. They're like, give them something interesting to talk about. Like, this joke flopped. Throw a bowling ball on the floor. <laughs> Make I mean, it yeah. funny. Your neighbors are the official people to move along the unfunny they're segments. The, they're the people holding up the cue cards. It's like, change subject. <laughs> Do something else. Shooting, as, as, we, as we clarified in a past episode, shooting doesn't mean just guns, right? Yeah, like slingshots. And so you can, like, throw bowling guns. balls at whales. You can't. You can't do that. Can you shoot, like, confetti at them for, like, their birthday? No. I, I suppose you could. It's their birthday! It's against the law! Like, no, it's their... It's a celebration! You'll never understand Willie and me! Well, then I guess that this is why we're Anarcho, and this is why we're gonna make a punk band. Because we're revolting against the government, and I'm going to write a song specifically about this law. About not being able to shoot confetti poppers at whales. Yeah, fuck the law, fuck huh. the establishment, fuck the government, fuck you. I want to celebrate my whale's birthday. He is turning 26, and I'm so proud of him. And the only way he likes to celebrate is by me being in a moving vehicle and shooting you... the party popper at him. Do you guys want to, like, hear some fun facts about whale lifespans? Well, I have some interesting uh, facts for you that not all spe species of whale live the same length. In fact, there's some pretty big variations. So each, depending on the type of whale, that would affect how many birthdays you'd have to throw it. And I, I'm, going to, I'm going to give you the lifespan of whales. From shortest lifespan to longest lifespan. All right, give me, like, give me like three. For just know, for you're the getting, sake of time. You're getting all of them. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god. Alright, do it fast. Okay, killer whale can on, only lives to about twenty nine years old. Oh. Uh beluga whales live thirty to fifty years. Or thirty five to fifty years. Okay. Short finned right. pilot whales live to forty five about forty five years old. Alright. Humpback whales live forty five to fifty ish years. And then the last one uh, lives. No, sperm whales live 60 to 70. <laughs> North Pacific right whale lives 70 years. And the blue whale lives 80 to 110 years. Really? Yeah. I thought they, they would have lived longer than that. Me too. For some reason. I thought they were on that alligator kind of mess where they don't die. Well, if you want to know one of the longest living things... It's a sponge called Bob Hexactyl he Hexactinellid sponge. Welcome back and to our uh, C, C in uh, the wild podcast. This is where in we the talk wild about life stands. This sponge can live up to fifteen thousand years. Man, are we? The How do they know that? Of... How do you know that something well, can live fifteen thousand years? It's in the Arctic. That so therefore the lo <laughs> So? That doesn't change anything. Oh, man. One two-meter high specimen in the Ross Sea was estimated to be about 23,000 years old. I, I, I guess they have their ways of calculating that beyond my comprehension. Dude, I'm not a biologist. I'm sure they have ways of calculating it. They just chop it in half and, like, count... Kind of like the layers oh, around man. the base. That <laughs> that reminds me. Yeah. Scientists a scientists accidentally killed the world's oldest clam. No. Or what, they think it is. what did it do they to like, them? So, 
on clams, you can kind of count the rings on the outside of the shell and to tell how old it is. But sometimes that gets a little messed up, so you can crack open the clam to read how old it is. Because the rings will also be on the inside of the shell, but that kills the clam. Oh. And so they found this clam and started counting it, and the clam was like 600 years old. Christ. That clam was, they estimated the clam was born around the time Christopher Columbus set sail. <laughs> Jesus. And why? they killed it. How, why? For because they cracked it open to tell dominance. how old it was. They were like, let's see how old it is. And they cracked it open and then counted it and they went, oh shit, we just killed like a fucking old ass clam that probably had many more years that, to go. The way you said that make it, made it sound like they were so frustrated that they couldn't determine the age of this thing that they killed it out of spite. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, don't know how maybe. old it is. Just fucking crack it open then. Scientists could be spiteful, know. dude. They're pretty, pretty hateful dudes. Yonkers. Yonky. My theory is right, damn it. Yonky. And my theory is that it'd be best if we move on to the next segment of this episode. Yeah. Which I'll... We'll save the horny one for last. All right, right on. All right. I got, anyway. I got some good stuff here, y'all. I'm going to call this the Toy Story segment. Okay. All right. Do, do, are we going to put like a little opening? Yeah, sure. Sam, give us the opening to the Toy Story segment. I was thinking in post-production, but all right. Wait, what's the opening to the Toy... Uh, you got a friend in me. Yeah. You got a friend in me. Woohoo! Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Big and no, stronger, stronger, too. And that's it. We can't but use any more. them... We can't use that anymore. We're gonna get copyrighted. Hi there. Welcome. All right. Okay. All right. So we're just he's just gonna edit it, I guess. Yeah. Welcome to the Toy Story segment uh, of the interesting thoughts. One of my I I I really hope this thought isn't that bad because I fucking love Pixar and Toy Story. You guys know this. I hope Do the not thoughts ruin terrible. This. I hope you ruin. Oh this. no, these 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 thoughts will probably ruin your experience. Yeah, welcome to Thoughts Sana, where everything we talk about ruins your day. Yeah, I got welcome I got two to Thoughts or three Sana, where it's Brett and Cyan's main prerogative to try and ruin my experiences with things. That's right. Yeah, it, it took you a while to notice, but yeah, we got there. So, <laughs> sharks. <laughs> Hi, sharks. Today, I want to present to you three thoughts. This first one I found on the internet a long time ago, and I don't know who submitted it. If Buzz Lightyear doesn't think he's a toy in the first movie, yeah, why did he stop moving when there were humans around? Exactly. Exactly. Sam? Why? Why did he? He was, afra he was afraid they would discover him. But he, he thought he was remember? a human, just like the rest. Yeah, he thought he was just no, like them. He thought he was a he thought space, he was space a, ranger he thought he was on a, a a an alien planet and so he needed to maintain cover space ranger space ranger okay i he, guess that makes sense whatever he needs yeah. to maintain cover so probably every I mean, time they like picked him up to play with him he was internally like ah, ah, ah. they're like they discovered me they found me out I'm incognito. I've been compromised. Yeah. All right. What's the second thought then? All right, sharks. I didn't think we'd be able to get through that one so fast. I have the second thought for you. Is it's it the toys toy and toys. Oh. It it does. This is the Toy Story segment. That's Thank why God. they're all. Yeah. <laughs> if the toys and Toy Story died, the kids wouldn't know. Um. Ew. Brett, I hate they, this. I yeah. don't like that one at all. Straight up. I don't I don't I don't think they ever bled or anything, but it was definitely implied that they could die. Yeah. Well, like in the terrible. third one they're about to get fucking incinerated. But it, like yeah. But like dying of old age. What if, yeah, what cuz Huggy Bear was pretty like old, right? In um Yeah, he had like a cane and shit. L so Huggy, that, Bear? That Huggy Bear. He's like, oh, Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear. I don't remember what his name was. Lots of Huggin Bear. What was his name? Lotso. Lotso. Lotso Hug and Bear. Lotso Huggy Bear. No, Huggin. Lotso Huggy, man. 
I'm going to punch you through this boy. microphone. He was a hugging boy. And that that implies that toys age, right? Yeah. They could die of old age. Maybe they could bleed out, right? They don't... Or like, oh, they're stuffing, like, all falls out. Yeah. They're like, ah, oh, it's well, all what coming if they're, out. What if they're, and they're like, bleh. What if they're a plastic toy like Buzz Lightyear or, uh, wait. Hmm. Because they know about batteries and such, so if his batteries die, they just go, quick, we need two double A's, stat, and they pop him in, pop him in, he's like, I'm back and good as new. What if he gets his head cut off? Well, Mr. Think... Potato Head can literally take himself apart. You're right. But that's, that's, that's his but body. He has his own biology. That's... Same, yeah. Yeah, that's part of his, like, attributes. No, but like in, the, in Toy Story 3, he takes off his eyes and then like puts them in a tortilla and that tortilla becomes his new body. Or yeah, that's he... that's another thing I wanted to talk about. I, or... I just wanted to bring up the tortilla potato head. <laughs> or then... Like what that business is. <laughs> it was part of their plan to escape, Brett. I know what it was. But like why did it happen? What, what part of him it creates like the moving body is it his eyes or is are his soul is his soul in his nose is it in well, his mustache well no you saw all the parts moving separately <sighs> you see yeah. all the parts start to move like okay but another thing i want to bring up toy story 2 uh woody gets injured that's like a big part, plot part yeah. yeah he gets his arm cut off or something he's ripped off and he to he's totally fine. He's like, I'm fine with it. I mean, he was obviously distraught, but he could function just fine without it. They don't feel he pain. Yeah, he did. It didn't like he didn't wince or anything. Like if a person's arm falls off, we're gonna bleed to death pretty fucking quick. But he was just sitting there like, oh no, my arm, and he was waving around. I'm pretty sure there's a scene where he slaps someone with his severed arm. Yeah, he does. It's very comical. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> But, There's also a but, scene in Toy Story 1 where Buzz loses his arm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, when he falls off the fucking staircase. Yeah, and he uses that to hit people. Or I'm pretty sure actually Woody used that to hit him. Never mind. But still. Yeah, in that, they, very, in, the, in that very famous scene where he looks at Buzz and he goes, you are a toy. And Buzz is like, oh shit, you right? <laughs> like, I, oh, think, you got me. I yeah. personally think that the toys are immortal until they are just completely eviscerated. So you're saying if Woody, like, if someone threw Woody into a lake and he drowned. Well, he doesn't need to breathe air. Well, how do you know that, Sam? Because he doesn't have lungs. How do you know? It's we very never saw the inside implied. of him. It's well, they don't have vocal cords either, Sam. Woody has they a drawstring. They don't got freaking windpipes. All of them how do have they like breathe? Some... How do they talk if they can't breathe, Sam? Woody has a speaker in him. So does Buzz. Oh, okay. All right. Like every toy has a speaker. Yeah. What in about them. the Barbie and the Ken doll and Mr. Potato Head? Mr. Potato Head and Mr. the Pot Teddy Bears. Teddy Bear Head. Um, um, fuck you. But I'm t I'm riding <laughs> this train. And the bank. How did the bank talk? The bank's not a toy. The piggy bank. It's not even a toy. Why was he included? Just because he was characterized, like he was. Because Andy used him as a toy, and that's what brought him to life. If something gets used as a toy, it is automatically brought to life. So if I die, and then someone like picks up my arm and is like, Haha, "I'm gonna go do this," and I'm suddenly a toy, do I come back to life? And yes. am I then granted immortality? Yeah. Yes. No one's done it before. We just haven't like thought of it yet. So. Well, that's where I'm on thought sauna. Yeah. I thought of it. That's where you can get all this information. This is all, this is all, we just talk about information to keep you immortal. <laughs> What's your third thought? Uh, it's, I stated it as a four-word question. It seems pretty childish at first, but I want to get into it. How are toys born? They're built in a factory. That yes. part's not hard. But all right, when, it's over. <laughs> when they're built, are they automatically adults? Like, when Woody is all put together, is he yes. automatically an adult, or does he start at a childlike state? No, he's huh. an adult. Does he know everything already, or does he have he to learn He probably started like Buzz did. Do you know everything about the Toy Story Extended Universe? Fucking hell yeah, I did. I played the video games and everything. We got is that canon? On our hands. I'm pretty sure it's canon. Did you play the card game? <laughs> there was not did a you play game. Uno? 
You play Toy Story Uno? Did you play <laughs> Toy Story Jenga? Yeah. Part of the canon? Yep. How is, how is Buzz born? He just started off and he's like, ah, I'm a space ranger. He was molded out of plastic. A oh, man. Do you guys ranger. remember the spa- like Buzz Lightyear st- of Star Command show? That was good. That was that was some good stuff, dude. I love the movie, too. God, that's yeah. Anyway, all right. I guess, y'all, if you ever need some Toy Story questions, you know, answered and suck and, the fun and out and of shot then, down immediately. Go ahead and go ahead and get to Sam Risley. <laughs> I didn't, man, Sam, you are you're on top of your game. I gotta tell I, you, you're like I'm not no fucking funny business. I'm not Toy fucking Story. around with Toy Story. <laughs> I am not. I will take. I will. I will just. I will fight for Pixar. I'm a little pissed at John Lasseter, but that's for other reasons because. <sighs> But other the other members of Pixar are on my good list until until they fuck up. And you know what that good list has uh, has netted you, Sam? What? An oint point. Yes. Woo! If this if this episode ever airs, it will. You will get you will get an oint point for your efforts of absolutely destroying uh, all the fun thoughts I had. <laughs> <laughs> I love that this is the first episode we've ever actually like taken down thoughts. <laughs> yeah, we we kind of just destroyed them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where we were like, no, fuck that. We're not talking about that one. <laughs> hey, at least I gave a reason why we're not talking about those ones. I mean, no. you pretty much just answered them, and then we were like, all right, cool. <laughs> and then we stopped. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on to our final segment. Uh, the dream one. This one gonna end horny. Well, so the dream itself is not inherently horny. However, if we are to, uh, if 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 anyone here knows anything about me, then uh, the conversation after will probably take a turn. I mean, just I'm get sure, to it. I'm pretty sure I know you. I, I know your French fry curse now. White Fr- French. French where fry you curse. Constantly order wherever you go to order French fries, they constantly mess it up. True. Yeah, you right. I don't know why I you would, brought that up, but I witnessed that firsthand. I'm saying that because I now I know you. How do they mess up French fries? I just never get them. Every time I order French fries, they either never give them to me, or like they give them to me like an hour after I've eaten everything else. And this is at like sit down restaurants. And, then the, la- and then the last sit down restaurant we went to, she ordered cheese fries, and they brought out the fries yeah. with no cheese. About an hour later. Yeah. Christ. Like, we were, like, ready to pay and shit. Whatever. I thought. Curse. So, this is a dream uh, submitted on Reddit by GCDM. Interesting name. Yeah. I had a dream once. I was complaining to a Toyota dealership that my seat was uncomfortable to sit in because of my tail. Mind you, I am a dragon. What? <laughs> it would force me to Just sit halfway up the seat. So I wanted to know if they had any seats designed for big dragon tails. They didn't. So I bought an aftermarket one on the internet. The rest oh. of the dream consisted of me driving home, listening to some nice music. Oh. Funnily enough, the dream reminded me to take my car for repairs. Um, so that's all fine and dandy. But I want to talk about this world we live in where we live alongside dragons who just do do shit. They needed to buy cars and they, they're like, hey, we need accommodations. We got big dragon tails. They've integrated into our society. Yes, they've learned our ways. We we've learned their ways as well. Yes, we're in a we're in a better world, honestly. So this dealership didn't have dragon friendly cars, but he found some on the internet. Yeah. Um, I I assume they're human sized. I know they're, they're just dragon sized. I could ass- I don't know if they're if if they are like a furry because this is on a furry Reddit, so I don't oh, know if if, right. if they're well. referring specifically to being an anthro dragon or if they are actually a real like dragon. Uh, maybe maybe there are some dragons that are just just after so many years of integrating into society, eventually. Yeah, there are still some like regular ones, and then there are also some more anthro ones. You know, it's all crossbreeding. I really yeah. It's all, I was it not all started expecting with one... to go the the. I was not expecting this dream to go this way, and I hate that it did. 
Yeah, it, it all started with one very, very brave man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's you know, how the half I'm pretty sure that's how the half dragons in uh D and D were made. Just a yeah. very brave man. Just a very courageous, ballsy dude. Or a very brave woman. Me. Or yeah. It's me. Hi. Wow. I did it. I'm so it's, glad. It's me. Oh, it's me, dragon fucker, Cyan Haskins. That's me. Are you okay? You kind of destroyed something to make that joke. My my picture frame of my family that's sitting on my desk tipped over. Oh, who cares about that? I You're just... good. Anyway, let's talk about dragon penis. Well, wait a second. <laughs> wait, that has nothing to do with the dream, though. Uh, has can, something to do with my dream. Can we can we not take like three minutes and talk about fun, like? Zootopia esque, okay. like invention. No, I do want to like talk. About, I really do like the scenario of a dragon coming in and being like, "I want this car," and they're like, "This car is only for humans. It's an old model. Sorry." It's a it's a nasty deal. It doesn't like, it doesn't abide. Oh, by they're our, like, like, it doesn't I abide dragons. by the government's new anti discriminatory laws. Yeah, that now include dragons. Thank it, God. It was probably like a more southern area. Of yeah, America. it was definitely a more southern area of America. You know, just old old values, old traditions. You know. And they're like, we don't, we we think dragons we don't should serve just use dragon their wings and fly. Here. Yeah, it's like these dragons, they don't want to have to, you know, fly everywhere. Like it, it's an activity, like any other. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they just want to relax and listen to some nice tunes. Yeah, just like this one was. But uh, yeah, I like the idea of like you go to like H E. Oh, I guess hi viewers. You go to the grocery store, and um, <laughs> yeah, and, outside of Texas, not many people know what H E B is. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you go to, like, the grocery store, and there's, like, dragons walking around at their, like, carts, and they're just buying groceries. They're getting soda. Getting soda. They're getting some, like, spices and shit to make What kind food. of soda do you think dragons buy? Ooh. Squirt. Dr. Uh, Thunder. Like every human should. <laughs> Shut up. I think Dr. they- Dr. Thunder. I think... <laughs> Dr. Dr. Thunder. Dr. Thunder! Dr. Thunder and Dr. Dynamite almost exclusively. That- that in this world i want to make it illegal for any other soda to exist other than <laughs> dr dynamite and dr thunder i like the world we're building this and in, is... the, in the same vein i like talking about domestic dragon life with like you know just integrated into people like there might be funny you should mention and... funny you should mention that i'm going to include this in my next D campaign sick yes but like <coughs> are you okay uh oh uh oh <laughs> hit the blunt oh <laughs> <laughs> Um, I was gonna say there's there's some fire coming out of her throat. Yeah, she's done Damn, it. I, she's become one. I I I fucking wish, dude. But like, I just like the idea, you know? Like you you're at, like in elementary school, and it's like the human seven year old and a dragon seven year old. Like, mm. They come over to hang out, and like my my friend's a dragon. Like this is my my mom and dad, and they're both dragons. And you're like cool. Like I don't know, it's a cool life to live. It's just a, it's just a cool idea. And, you know, probably you got to you got to be at least like lovers or such a sacred brotherly almost bond to like ride dragons. Oh, fucking. Sh you don't you don't like ride. A you dragon don't you don't life. ride. Dra that was one of the first things that people had to get used to. Yeah. They were like, all right, I'll just hop out there. And like, no, that sir, that's offensive. Yeah. Sir, you can't use me like that. Yeah. And it, and it took us a while to like, OK, that's that's a special thing for them. Yeah. 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 It's it's the thing of trust. It's like your best friend or like your life partner. Yeah, yeah. Is a dragon. Is Dude, a dragon. Oh, uh, everyone's I wish. required one dragon in their life, whether it's like best friend, or a, even coworker. You know, just one dragon that you can like. This is my this is my person. You know, this is my dragon. I lost yeah. my I lost my joke. I was gonna make it. Make it real quick. Go. I can't remember it. Good. Did it have to do with dragons? Yes. All right, we're halfway there. <laughs> Was it a pun? I think. All right, never mind then. But I also <laughs> can't remember. All right, cool. Uh, if you're real tight with a dragon, you could be like, hey, can you like light this campfire for me? Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. You know? Like, it, like you can't ask a stranger that. But if you know the person and you're tight and you like understand each other, like, yeah, sure, dude, yeah, I'll... A light. It's just easier. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, my God. Fucking 
Can I get this dragon to like light my joint? <laughs> yeah, dude. dragons don't even Yo. need to light joints. They just put it in their mouth and they breathe in and it's it's like already lit from the inside. Yeah. I'm really upset I can't remember this joke. I well, uh, you got huh. <laughs> you, get, you got some. You got some time to figure it out, Sam. Meanwhile, we're we'll be fantasizing, but just like about this dragon world. I love this dragon world. I love. I I just like the scenario of like a dragon being like, ah, like looking for cars and being like, oh, this one's too small mm -hmm. or whatever. That's a cute thought. Welcome to thoughts, Anna. That's a fun thought. Now, did you want to talk about any of your horny thoughts? <sighs> we don't have to. That'd be great if you didn't. Yeah, but I, I feel don't like know how, have to. I don't I, know how you thought this was gonna get horny. Don't worry about it. Well, I mean, Sam, if you wanted to get horny, no, I can easily no, make it that no, way. No, 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 no. I'm just, please. I'm just. I can't even comprehend how you would. Do you think we can what, like watch Lord of the Rings movies anymore? Do you think it'd I, be weird? I think it. Actually, you know what? Like Aragon. I feel like movies like that. For a little while, it'll probably be like the dragons will be like, oh, representation, right? In the media. Um, but then like as time goes on and we start like integrating stuff and there's more shows that like like sitcoms that include them and stuff. And mm -hmm. as time goes on, that's going to kind of be like kind of like for like the trans community at the time. Rocky Horror was like a cool thing. But now looking back on it, Rocky Horror is kind of like, eh. it's really It's kind of like transphobic. It's, it's kind of super yeah. gross. But mm -hmm. at the time it was like, this is all we got. I think it'll be like that. Because right now we have very few movies where we actually team up with dragons. Usually they're like the villain yeah, I that want, we're trying to slay. I want. And I hate that. A trope. fucking. I want a fucking like Friends remake, but with like <laughs> dragons. Yes. Absolutely. Like, like two. How many are there? Like six of them. Yeah. Six friends, and like two of them are dragons. And I just, want Scrubs, but with dragons. Scrubs, but with dragons. Parks and Rec, but with dragons. I love, I love Toy Story. Well, no, that's already Toy Story. The, the, Voiced by a dragon. dragon. Yeah. Oh my god, dragon voice actors? Oh yeah, there's gonna be dragon Dragon musicians. Actors. Dragon Beyonce. Dragon Beyonce. Oh my god, oh my god. dragon rock bands. That's gonna be so uh, sick, dude. Damn it! I'm maddened, and I'm gonna have like a depressive episode about like the world we live in and how there can't just be like a dragon rock band <laughs> and like dragon celebrities, dragon red carpets. There, I mean, you see like E News, like which dragon wore it better? Yeah. You know. God damn it! I, would, I want this world. Thank God I I'm an artist, because I'm gonna world. go home and draw this. You can literally do this with your with your art. Thank God. All right. Well, we're probably going to keep talking about this for like an hour and a half, but let's end the podcast right now. All right. You can find us on Facebook. We have YouTube. We got a Gmail. Thoughtsano, one word, no capitals. Send in your suggestions, your laws, dreams, uh, thoughts, and we'll gladly take them. I didn't know we uh, had a Gmail. Yeah, that's how I made the YouTube and stuff. Hmm. So, Cyan? Yep. If you would take, take, take it, a ticket, it, ticket it to the ticket, it take a left, take it to the left, take it to the bank, boys. We're all sweaty in this thoughts on it. Make sure to bring a towel next time you pop on in. <laughs>